How's it going, guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. Sam here with Nikhil, Senior Manager of Blue Line and Athlete Products. And Nikhil, today we are talking track spikes. Now, we saw the kind of reimagination of the wire series about a year ago. Big step in the right direction with carbon plates, that highly responsive supercritical foam. But now we've got the wire eight, again, completely reimagined once again. Tell us about some of these updates and what the inspiration was behind the newest spike. Sure. Yeah, thanks, Connor. Um, it's, it's one hell of a story. So last year, as Connor said, you know, we got a DNA flash in the wire seven, but we still didn't hit a few metrics. And uh, we are working a lot more closely with our athletes. We want to make sure that we ensure every athlete is in a Brooks spike. Um, and so we put together a dedicated athlete team and our story was to rise above, rise above the adversity, just like an athlete does. And we made sure that we got the best technology, worked really closely with the athletes. And we've had every single athlete compete in our Brooks uh, uh, spikes. Uh, and the Y8, you know, we've worked really closely with Ali Bukowski and uh, Josh Kerr and really incorporated a lot of what the athlete is looking for. So a super critical foam that is an update to DNA Flash. This is softer at 42C, a new uh, a plate material, which we'll talk about as well and then making sure that this fit is really dialed in uh, for these distances. Yeah, and as an athlete, you're right. When you get on the line and you look to your left, you look to your right, you don't want to feel like you're at a disadvantage. So it's great to hear that Brooks is continuing to push the line. And I think without further ado, we will dive on into this product. I think we'll start off with the midsole because that kind of is the most important part to a lot of shoes nowadays. That's where that energy return comes from. And you talked about the new supercritical foam. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and what the athletes were kind of looking for? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we've this new team, Daniel Jordan, who works in Fit and Wear Test and Kenny Kreutzer on the development side, working closely with the athletes. They, they, they heard that the athletes not only want that responsiveness, but they want it to be slightly softer. So we went to 42C in terms of that super critical form. And that's just made a big difference in terms of giving the athlete the best of both worlds. Uh, so you're going to see that in the new wire eight um, full length supercritical foam at 42c and the supercritical foam kind of works together with the carbon plate we saw the introduction in the last version do we have a different plate now and how is that going to kind of work together to create that full uh, midsole story yeah so on the wire we actually don't use a carbon fiber plate we're using something similar to a pbax plate it's called z -Lite. It is lighter, it is stronger, and it has better bending stiffness. So it's really gonna allow the athlete to kind of pop off you know, the ground and works really well with the supercritical foam. So that's been a big, big upgrade. And the secondary traction on this spike is sharp. Th these spikes are sharp and uh, we also have five embedded pins. So they're not removable, they're embedded. And we did that to shave a, as much of the weight out as we could. And when you're doing athlete testing, how much, um, obviously responsiveness is something that's probably asked a lot, but how much is the traction brought up and how important is that for an event like, you know, longer distance, upward mile, up to 5K? Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, traction is super important. You know, you, you have little control over what the environment's gonna be. So especially if it's a wet track, traction becomes even more important. And so we wanted to make sure that irrespective of the environment, the athlete has not only the traction from the spike pins, but also from the secondary traction. Uh, and these spikes can be used for steeplechase as well. So, you know, when you're pushing off those barriers, you're in like going through the water uh, jump area, you, you may, you're sure that, you know, you're gonna be secure. And looking kind of at the geometry of this shoe, it does look uh, very, uh, the toe spring is actually fairly aggressive. Is this different than the last version and kind of what were the athletes asking for in that regard? Yeah, good eye. I mean, honestly, um, when you look at the toe spring, we really kind of increased it. Uh, so we added a little bit more toe spring and actually shaved a little bit of the supercritical foam. The other thing that we did is we brought the, the tread point back and both of those work really well for the athlete to kind of roll through faster especially when it's like the 1500 meters to 10k um, a lot of the athletes in the first i'd say half two-thirds of the race don't get me wrong they're still running crazy fast but they're kind of more like heel striking running nice and relaxed or midfoot striking and then they just turn on the burners right and so you want them not only to roll relax but when they kind of dial it up you want the spike to work with their uh, body and mechanics um, and actually facilitate it as much as possible. So two things, 
uh, increase the toe spring, move the tread point back, and that's uh, led to a faster roll. And the final piece of the puzzle with the track spike is of course gonna be the upper. We've got a very lightweight design, very breathable. Tell us about this update. Yeah, so we wanted to make sure like Brooks's fit standards are the highest in the industry. We want to bring that to our spikes as well. So still working closely with, you know, athletes like Nia and Ali and Josh, uh, made sure that we had, you know, like the best fit for a um, long distance athlete, 1500 meters and above. Simple engineered air mesh, uh, made sure that you know it kind of fit and it was nice and breathable but we really focused on the heel area made sure that it's the foot is nicely locked in you got a little bit of embossing on the heel nice suede material and then made sure that there were no kind of friction areas especially for that Achilles area so it's locked in the the tongue is tacked on on the medial side as well to just eliminate any movement of the tongue from side to side. An amazing design by our designer, Ross Damon. Looks super fast. And then one last thing that we did is fun stuff that we added, uh, this little spicy red chili collection. Um, so there are five levels of spice uh, and our, our product line manager, Lee Sackett, came up with this idea. And it's the, the Wire 8 has three red chilies, pretty spicy, but there's some even faster spikes that we have. So. Yeah. So that, that's, that's the YA. Well, we're gonna have to wait and see what comes. You know, when I felt inside this shoe, it is very soft. It's like almost buttery smooth. I think the fit is gonna be a big story with this. Obviously, the foam is gonna be what gets people excited, but I think the fit's gonna be something that's overlooked. And I know we talked about the athletes putting this shoe on their feet. How many iterations of the upper uh, were done to get to this final version? So we had anywhere from like 18 to 23 fit tests that we did with the athletes again super impressed with our team within nine months we like built a shoe from scratch the spike from scratch the first round prototype josh kerr broke the indoor 1500 meter and uh, british records and so yeah super proud of the team and what we accomplished and you know every athlete like i said wore it at the world championships at the trials um, we've had a bunch of personal bests as well so Perfect. Well, every single part of the shoe was well thought out from bottom to top. I think the Brooks athletes are going to be pretty happy when they get on the starting line and know that they've got every advantage come race day. If you're looking to get a pair for yourself, it's available now. You can find it here at Running Warehouse.